Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can chat with any PDF document. All right, let's get into it. All right, the tool that I'm going to show you is free and it's called chat PDF. So let's just go to chatpdf.com here and we see what it can do. So chat PDF is a tool that you can use to chat with any PDF document and it's best for students that are probably doing their homework, they are doing their research. It's also great for work. If you have any number of documents that you wish to analyze and that could be financial or sales reports, uh, projects and business proposals, legal documents and contracts, you can basically use this tool. And it's also great for curious minds and that is anyone who wishes to unlock a wealth of knowledge with chat pdf okay so you can discover new insights and answers from historical documents poetry literature effortlessly yeah so chat pdf is really free here uh, you can browse a document from your computer or you can basically upload it through a url here and also you have a drag and drop option right here so i have a, a few sample documents that i'm going to use to just demo this product keep in mind that the free version here limits you to 120 pages and then 10 mb pdf file and you're also limited to just three pdfs per day and 50 questions after that you will have to basically pay five dollars per month to keep using this tool all right so let's take it for a spin and just see how good it is i have some sample documents here i have a sample tenant agreement here that i'm going to upload and let's just see what it can do all right and here it is so this is uh really a sample tenant agreement everything here is uh, not exactly right yes but yeah here it is i just changed a few things here for privacy but by and large this is basically what a tenant agreement looks like so you have the landlord the tenant and then you have the payment terms here and then you have the tenant obligations and you have the landlord obligations so uh on the right here uh let's see what chat pdf has done it says welcome to the new rental agreement this agreement outlines the terms and conditions of your tenancy, including rent and payment terms, as well as your obligations as a tenant. Here are three questions you may have about the file. So it summarizes what the document is all about and some of the key pointers in the document. So it says, when is the lease term set to begin? Okay, how much is the refundable deposit and when will you be refunded? And what are some of the tenant's obligations under this agreement? So all you have to do is to just click on this arrow here and it gives you the response according to this section here. So when you click on it, it goes to that particular section. It says the list term is set to begin on August 15th, 2022, which is actually right here. You can see it here. Okay. And then when we uh, tap on that, okay says the refundable deposit is UGX 7,000 shillings as stated in. So when you click in that, it takes you to that portion of the document where that fact is referenced. The deposit will be refunded after a period of one month from the date when the tenant vacates the house. Net all the outstanding utility bills occurring to the tenant at the termination of the tenancy and any damages. Again, right there. Okay, so you have the third question there. All right okay so according to this section some of the tenant obligations of this agreement include paying rent in advance paying or causing to be paid and discharging all electricity water and sewer charges using premises exclusively for residential purposes and so forth so you basically have a summary of uh, what the document is all about here and you can ask questions here say what are the landlord's obligations and here you go according to this section scroll to page three it says some of the landlord's obligations under the agreement include handing over the property in tenable condition as it was prior to the tenancy clearing and or taking responsibility for outstanding utility bills including as applicable but not limited to electricity water sewage that way accrued before the commencement of the terms of the tenancy. So yeah, here you go. This is all right here. And you can see that this uh, tool is quite helpful in helping you 
dissect some of that legal language there into understandable language here. So you can go ahead and ask some other questions that are probably not even answered in the document, like what is a landlord? A landlord is a person or entity that owns property and rents or leases it out to another person or entity known as a tenant in exchange for payment or rent. So you can ask questions related to the document that are probably not even listed in this document here. So this is really, really good for understanding a document, summarizing it and so forth. So that is just one good example. Uh, my credits are limited, so there's just so much that I can sample here. But let's see if we can get something else. Let's um, get, for example, Google's uh, Terms of Service okay so this is something we all sign up to these services we simply go and click on accept without really reading all this stuff because i mean who reads uh, terms and conditions of uh, software right it's written in very difficult legal language it's verbose it's long nobody has time for that but now you can drill down to the details using some of these tools they reduce on the cognitive load so welcome to google's terms of service by using our diverse range of products and services you agree to follow policies and not misuse our services remember using our services does not give you ownership of any intellectual property rights so here are the example questions what are some additional terms or product requirements that may apply to using google services okay so let me ask that okay and here is the answer as per page one here it says google services are very diverse so sometimes additional terms or product requirements may apply including age okay what are the liability of of uh, using google services it says all right google and its suppliers and distributors will not be responsible for lost profits revenue or data or financial losses or indirect special consequential exemplary or punitive charges okay there you go if you want to download this summary here okay you can basically go and download it here or export the chart it will uh, export it as um, a text file here with all your questions and answers. And you can also share the chat, uh, I think, online. Just copy the link and then you can share it on Twitter, or Facebook, email, wherever. And then of course, you can delete the chat. Now, if you have an account with these guys, you are able to save your chat history here. So all the documents that you uploaded and um, the chats that you had with the AI will be available to you. OK, so this is chat PDF. This is one of the very many other tools that are available out there. If uh, you are subscribed to ChatGPT Premium, then you have access to a number of similar plugins that you can use to summarize PDFs. So that will cost you about another $20 per month so this is it this is one of the tools that i found out there that are quite useful and if you guys found this video helpful please go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel if you know any other tools that are quite useful like this let me know in the comments below as well otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one